What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I hope you guys are doing well. We are going to be continuing with some Chapter 3 excitement here in Episode 3. So last time, we heard from King K that uh, our boy at the hot dog stand is got some new kind of ingredient or something. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a step out of the minor league room. I know it seems like uh, Grub is containing us in there, but we can actually leave at any point and go check out um, some of the other areas, but also go out here. And I never really checked out the outside, so I, I think that would be important to do this episode. So let's do oh, what is all this screaming about? What is... Oh my... Oh my... Oh, it's Rock Hawk, of course. Ha 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 ha! Everyone wants a piece of the rock! It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me, yeah, because everyone loves to rock! Oh my god, get out of here. You guys make me sick. Bunch of groupies. Dude, I'm the great Gonzalez, okay? You don't even know me. Whoa, who's this? Who's this young lass? We've seen her before. Well, well, Mr. Mustache. So, you're a fighter now. Hmm. Well, I suppose I'll cheer you up from the shadows, my sweet. Okay, interesting seeing her here. What about what about this woman? Well, hello there, you great beefy bull of a man. You, you're wonderful, dear. But I'm afraid the only man for me is the champion. That Hersu Rockhawk. By which, uh, I mean, the minimum requirement to date me is a champ's belt, you poor thing. Wait. I don't know, is this like, is this an old lady? I thought this was kind of an old lady. I don't, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a really fancy, fancy toadette. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you know what, I don't even want to date with you anyway. Even though everyone seems to hit on Mario in this game, including her. You know, when when I when I get to the top, I'm not gonna date you. I'm gonna date someone else. No, bad, so very bad. Behave yourself, egg. Uh oh, eggs jumping around. No, bad. Come back. Help! My imported egg escaped. Somebody catch it. Yeah, I'll catch it right after I get this star piece. All right. So this egg is going loose. This guy's trying to chase it down. Where are you at, egg? Wait, do I jump on it or do I hammer it? I forget. Maybe I just jump on it. Yeah, there you go. You just need to be there for it, I think. Most awfully bad. Come down from there, bad egg. How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? You you don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. Stand there with your mustache. And a way to sleep it goes. All right. Well, we got to find a way to fly up there. I don't know how we're doing. Can we get the, the hot air balloon back? That'd be nice. Well, it actually seems that if you go over here, there's some kind of switch. So, uh, let's do it. Let's hit that Nintendo Switch right there. Hashtag relevant. Hashtag Zelda. Hashtag that console just came out, like, yesterday. Hope you guys are enjoying it if you're playing the Switch. Hope you guys are having fun playing Zelda and whatever else you could be playing. We got the power plus P. Boost your partner's attack by one. Wait, wait hold on. How much BP is it? Because if it's... Yeah, it's still six. It, it's not useful. I'm sorry, it's not a very good one. And uh, on this episode of where they should have put star pieces, I'm thinking behind this sign. I'm thinking behind this sign. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna chime in. I, I I've kind of prevented, but I like I like to chime in with like where you probably could have put a star piece. But I, I honestly I would love to like I don't know how many star pieces are in hidden panels. Maybe like 30 or 40. But I would love to just like relocate all those and just because you know how I'm not a huge fan of those. I would be like, all right, you take them out of the game, put all the star pieces over here <laughs> in, in these areas. Let's talk to the egg. Hmm. Is it just me, or do you think that egg, what, you want to help our egg? Um, you're calm, Mario. What do you want to do? Uh, let there be hot dogs. <laughs> let there be hot dogs. Mario, you're, you're supposed to be an adult here. Scaring babies is just plain isn't nice. The way I see it, there's no two ways about this thing. We let this little guy go. Hmm. Provided that it's okay with, uh, with you too, sir. That's Koops. This is Koops' voice, by the way, guys. He fell off. He fell off the thing. He's down there. Ah, oh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Well, cool. Looks like you're free and clear in the clear, little guy. Bye. Yay, we got the little guy. Huh? What's wrong with you now? You want to follow us or something? Hmm. Yeah, I think he definitely wants to stick with us. What should we do, Mario? Okay, he can follow us. That's great, Mario. You're, you're, you're in it with us, little buddy. Stay out of the way, okay? Oh, that's cute. We got the leg now, and my coops just goes up there. All right, there's also an item shop here. Um, if there's anything particularly that anyone is interested in, me personally, not super interested in something. Ah, eh, a power punch actually wouldn't be too bad. I only have 22 coins, though. Yeah, you know what? Let's get a power punch. 
The power bunch is going to become obsolete pretty quickly. Um, but for right now, I'm going to grab the power bunch. Then we're also going to go over here. This is a very interesting area. Huh? Who are you? Prank calls are uncool. So every time you hit this, you, you call someone. The weather in Glitzville today will be as sunny with a chance of more sun. It's above the clouds, stupid. <laughs> well, the weather in Glitzville... Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Is there any more? Hi, brother. Luigi here. How are you holding up? The local time is now... Snack time? Mario, Professor Frankly here. Be careful out there. Local time is now snack time. Hello? No, we, we don't deliver. <laughs> it's just a bunch of one-liners. Hi, Mario. This is Puny. Stop by every now and then, will you? So you get to call people that you know, too. Hi, am I the 987,344th caller? Did I win the free tickets? Hello? No, we don't deliver. What else do we got? Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Croup, the mayor of Petalburg. How's Coops? Hello? No, we don't deliver. All right, anything else? Anything else? Murphy, dude. He calls him Murphy. All right, I think that is all the, the prompts that we can get. I think we ran through them. Hello? 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 <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna leave it on that one. Sorry if anyone was relaxing and, and I just like blew out their eardrums. I tried to move back from the mic. Hello there, you customer. The aroma of yum in the air, especially, uh, especially of the Glitzville. Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only 10 coins for one. Well, I can't afford one right now, but I will be back to, to snag some hot dogs because hot dogs are good. Oh, we got an email too. Nice. What else is there to explore out here? We got the sisters here. We're the rough and tumble battling and traveling sisters three. Boy, those major league matches just get us so energized. Our knuckles get white and our hearts start pounding and we snack like no tomorrow. Okay. We got fresh juice. The fresh juice area. Oh, you know what? I, I didn't do this last time. I'm going to do it this time. Bring out Goombella for this dude. Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. I wonder what flowers that beautiful Mademoiselle likes. Mademoiselle likes. She is like a ravishing but thorny red nose, huh? Oui, she is thorny. Oh, wait. I, we don't get the voice line from Goombella. Oh, no. Oh, well. Oh, well. Too bad. So sad. Uh, how do I... Can I... Can I please... Can I... Hello? No, it's a party. It's a party, Sam. You think your partners are gear? Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion, the fighters long since lost. He shone truly and brightly. My, many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Oh, we also got the bartender here. Hey there and welcome. Our doors are always open for the first to fight fans. This will sound crazy, but I really wouldn't mind being the strongest guy alive. I mean, sure, every guy dreams about that once in a while, but the thing is, I once... Yeah, no, wait, never mind. G good luck out there. Oh, he d doesn't tell us. He's just going to keep it keep it a secret for now. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed the outside world. Um, is there also something over here? I think there's also something over here. Maybe on this side. No. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, well. All right, let's, uh, I think we got to go back into our, uh, our minor league area and uh, reserve a match. That's probably the smartest thing to do. So, yeah, Glitzville is great. It, it The thing about Glitzville, though, in Chapter 7 in general, is that there's not a ton to explore. You're, you're doing a lot of fights, and there is the outside area, and there's some personalities that play into it, but you're doing a lot of fights. So some people really, really love it and have a, lot, have a great time with it. Other people, you know, there's a little bit less to experience in some parts in Chapter 3, and I can talk a little bit more about that later. Range 14 in the Glutz Pit, they hand it over. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need trinkets. All right. Real men do not need trinkets. All right. Cool. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, Bo. All right, cool. And the egg is just going to sit there. Just going to go back on the little, uh, what do you even call that? Couch? Cushion? All right, well, it looks like we got some bandits here. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Usual Great Owls, Grim Death Burgers. Yep, in a fight to finish the Handed Overs. Hmm, okay, we can do this. All right, we got the Handed Overs. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Just plain awful, huh? Battle, let's go. All right, we've got the Bandits, the, t the, uh, the, the Handed Overs. 
And uh, these are new enemies for us, so we got some new bios here. Let's let's run through them real quick. We've got the regular bandit, the standard guy on your screen right now. He's got 5 HP and 2 attack power. He's going to come up try to steal your coin uh, if he can. And then, uh, yeah, try to feed him before he gets those coins back. Then switching over, we got the big bandit. The big bandit's a little bit more threatening. Um, he's got 8 HP, 3 attack, and he can also steal items from you. So that guy is definitely one that... Uh, you want to handle first. Um, what did I want to do here? I want to... Huh. I think it's probably... So here's the thing. They try to run away with your coins. So a lot of the time it's useful with Flurry here here to use uh, Gale Force. Um, let me... Let me... Hold on. I gotta... I don't usually do use this attack. Alright, it worked on one of them and blew one of them away. So Gale Force is actually uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to super guard these. No, it's impossible to super guard these. Holy crap! Oh my god, I can't even regular guard them. I'm totally thrown off. These are really hard ones to guard. Okay, all right. Um, I gotta think about this a little bit here. I'm probably gonna sweet treat. Uh, let's. Luckily, he didn't get anything that I cared about. Yeah, let's just let's just sweet treat here. Um, actually, wait. Do I have an item? I do have an item. What, what was my battle condition? I totally, guys, I totally forgot my battle condition. Was it that I can't use items? I think it was that I couldn't use items. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. Um, I wish they had it, like, on the screen. We're gonna go ahead and use Sweet Treat, though, just in case. I think it was that you can't use items. Empty your pockets. I'm trying to remember what he said. Oh, no. Also, I made a mistake. I meant to put out Flurry in front. That's all right. Come on, give me some more Mario hearts. Oh, man. All right. So now that they have it, I'm pretty sure they just they run away. I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. Let's try Gale Force again. I actually don't know too much about the bandits. Come on, blow them away. Nice. Okay, we blew most of them away. We get the star points for them as well. You don't get the star points when he runs away like that. So, I mean, very interesting fight. Not how I intended it to go, but... We got ourselves a winner, Greg Gonzalez, but they lose when they do that. So they, so these guys, they sacrifice the win in the game just to take like a coin or an item from you. <laughs> um, granted, though, if it wasn't the dried shroom, I would have attacked that guy to get it back. But it's the dried shroom. I don't really care. Uh, anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Here's your fight, money, Mr. Gonzalez. Show us the six. Show us the six. Let's go. Hey, you hear the latest G-Dog? My boys said that they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Check her out for me, man. Okay, it's probably we're supposed to check her out. You know what? No, we're just gonna go reserve another match. <laughs> what is that? We're not gonna we're not gonna be the love guru for King K, man. I'm sorry. We got the mind bogglers. Now listen, son, this battle wants you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? Uh yeah, this one could be can be a little bit tough sometimes. We're definitely gonna go ahead and uh and take a rest. They want the enemies to damage us three times. Okay. Sounds interesting. It's the mind bogglers. I don't even know how I want to approach this battle. Maybe a quake hammer. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. These guys are the chapter two, two warriors right here. Greg Gonzalez and the mind bogglers. Mario, darling, are you quite ready? Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Get yourselves ready to battle. Yeah, so these are the chapter two warriors right here. The uh, the puff, the piter, the piranha. Um, all right, so first things first, I would say, since we need to let him attack us three times, let's let's hit him with the power. Qu oh, it's only gonna hit. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I thought it might. I thought it was gonna hit the piter too because it was low. Um. Let's just hit this, because we want to spread out the damage if we don't let him attack. Do four damage, which is so much right now. Four damage is really good. Alright, so hit us. Yeah, you hit us once. You can use the mushroom on Piter, probably. Alright. Okay, interesting. Piter's gonna use the freaking what is it, Mr. Softener or whatever? Oh my god. Oh wow, that's bad. Okay, um... 
So I think still they've only attacked us once, right? What does this even do? Does this do nothing? What the heck? Oh my god. All right, body slam. Body slam can do how much? Two damage or one damage? Probably two damage. Look at mini flurry. <laughs> okay, that's funny. All right, he's going to attack us. Not going to affect our defense at all. All right, now we, we let him attack us three times. All right, cool. Now I can start super guarding. Because I don't know if that counts. I don't. I really don't know if that counts. It might count, might not. All right, what are we going to do here? Um, I could spin jump him. Do one damage, take him out. Flurry can do a little bit of damage on this dude right here. I don't know. I've never like had this happen. I mean, I've probably had it happen before, but the freaking Mr. Softener. Oh, and he gets hit by a freaking pail too. All right, we got lucky on that one. Got the Piter firing at us. Mr. Super Guard. Oh well, that's fine. They're done. They're all dead next next turn anyway. So yeah, not the easiest battle. When you have to let him hit three times, things get a little bit interesting. And I mean, these guys are actually not too not too easy either. So yeah, and with that, Piter's dead. Taking him out, and we're winning the battle. Great Gonzalez rises above yet again. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Why is that no? Uh, why that was no fuss whatsoever? Okay, Flurry, don't get too cocky. I might have to bring out Coops again. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. How are we looking? Hmm. 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 Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. So that's probably gonna be. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, dig. After next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, Double G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget what you once knew the King K. Aw, oh, no, King K. Not like this, man. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. We're running a little bit low on time here. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. I'm going to go take a nap. Have an awesome day, everybody.